Hey you guys, so today I'm going to walk you through how to set up your sewing machine and then how you can sew your own face mask at home. So first thing you want to do is get a face mask pattern. I would suggest downloading um, the free face mask pattern from Kay and Cole. She's been so kind and has um, made her face mask pattern available for you to download for free. So head over to her profile, click her link and you can download that face mask um, pattern. And so this is my pattern right here. I used scrap fabric and I altered her pattern to make it a little bit larger um, to fit various faces better. So go ahead and get your face mask pattern printed out and cut it out so that it looks like this. Now, once you have your face mask pattern printed and cut out and ready to go, you're gonna go ahead and get your fabric. So these are already cut, but pretend that this is fabric. You're gonna get your fabric, you're gonna lay it out. Then you're gonna fold it in half so that the right sides are facing each other. So this would be the back side of the fabric that you're not gonna see. This is the right side of the fabric. So fold it in half so that it's right sides facing together. And then you're gonna go ahead and get your face mask pattern and put it down on your fabric. Then once it's down on your fabric, you're gonna go ahead and cut around your face mask pattern, just like that. And then you should end up with two pieces like this, right sides facing together. So you're gonna wanna do the same thing with another set of fabric and this fabric is gonna be your lining fabric. Um, so fold it in half again, place your pattern down and then cut around the edges. And so you should have two pieces of fabric here, two pieces of fabric here. So in total, four pieces to make your mask. Everyone's sewing machines look different, but they're all generally the same. So if your machine doesn't necessarily look exactly like mine, it's okay, you can still follow along and get the gist of it. Um, if it's still difficult for you, I'd suggest taking a look at your manual or even just YouTubing how to thread your sewing machine. So we're going to start with threading your bobbin. You're going to take your spool of thread and you're going to go ahead and put it right up here. And take this tail of thread and you're going to just loop it around this little guy like that and then pull it across this way. So now you have your bobbin, and you're gonna take that tail thread, and you're just gonna loop it from the underneath, through the little pukas, and out the top. Just like that. Now that you have it looped through, you're gonna go ahead and pop it on right here and then move it that way into position so it'll be here and then you're just gonna click it that way into position and let the tail hang just like that for now so on my machine i need to unlock this wheel right here in order to start um, getting my bobbin going so i'm going to spin it backwards so it's unlocked and then check that my bobbin is in the locked position so unlock locked this is where we want it and i'm going to hold on to this little tail of thread right here and lightly press on the presser foot and it's going to start going and then just continue to press and it'll fill up your bobbin my machine automatically stops and so i let go of the tail my machine will automatically stop when it's full, so just check your manual to make sure and follow your steps for your specific machine. So my bobbin is fully wound and now I have the little tail up here and I'm just going to trim it off right here with my scissors. So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and lock my wheel again. Then I'm going to flick this guy over, pop him off, and then trim this um, thread right down here. And so now I'm going to show you how to thread your machine. 
So go ahead, you can leave that spool of thread there, and then you're going to take the end of the thread, it's kind of hard to see. You're going to take it, and you're going to loop it around that looper right there, and bring it all the way down, and around this guy, bring it under that guy, and all the way up to the top, and you're going to go in right here, and make sure that you loop it between that guy. And then bring it all the way down to the foot. You're gonna loop it behind and bring it right down in front of your needle. Now this part might be a little bit tricky. Um, you may need your reading glasses <laughs> or if your machine has an automatic threader then perfect good for you um, if not you're gonna take this little thread and you're gonna feed it through the eye of the needle right here so once you've got it through your needle you're just gonna pull it tight right here and then send it between this crack in the foot and pull it back just like that now we're going to insert your bobbin and mine goes mine is front loading right here some sewing machines are top loading um, side loading so it all depends refer to your manual so i'm going to show you how to do my front loading i'm going to pop open this little latch and then i'm going to see this little arm right here i'm going to pull it out and towards me and then pull it out just like that so it looks like this guy so now I'm going to take my bobbin and I'm going to hold it this way so that the thread is going clockwise. And then I'm going to put it right in just like that. It snaps in and it should look like this. Then I'm going to take this thread and I'm going to put it through this little crack right here. So I got the thread through this little crack right here and then slid it underneath this piece so that it comes right out the middle like that. And so I'm going to turn it around this way and I'm going to put it back into my sewing machine and push it in so it snaps. Perfect. Just like that. Now you're going to want to hold down this thread right here so it can't move. Hold it down tight. And then with your other hand, you're going to spin this wheel towards you. So I'm holding my thread in the back, back here, I'm holding it down. And with my one hand, spinning the wheel forward to bring the needle down. And it's going to loop up and pull that bobbin thread up. And so you can see right there that it pulled the bobbin thread up from underneath. So I'm going to just take a little tool and sweep the rest of the thread through and there you go you have your top thread and your bobbin thread coming in nicely send that to the back and you are ready to jam so now that your machine is all set up to go and you have your face masks cut out the patterns cut out we're gonna sew it and we're gonna sew starting along this curved edge right here so with your fabrics, your two pieces of fabric facing right sides together, you're going to put it down and we're just going to sew along this curved edge right here first. So since there's no seam allowance, what I'm doing is just lining up the edge of my presser foot right here with the edge of the fabric and then I'm just going to sew along the curve. And before you start, just make sure that you're doing a straight stitch. So no zigzag, right? Zigzag's on zero. And then the spacing between stitches is really up to you. I'm probably going to go down. I have been going all the way down to about um, two and a half or three. So let's just do three for this one. And then go ahead and hold your threads back here. You're going to hold it in place. And so this is what it should look like. 
And you're just going to repeat that with your other set of fabrics. So right sides facing together and then just sew along the curve. Now you have these two pieces of fabric and what you're going to do is you're going to open it up so that you can see it. Just like that. So one and two and you're going to take it and you're going to put right sides facing together again. You're going to line them up. So now it should look something like this, right? The other side. The right sides of the fabric facing together. And you're gonna wanna make sure that on both sides, this, this stitch and this stitch, the seams are aligned. And then also at the bottom of the mask that they're aligned, just like that. And then you're gonna start sewing along the entire border of the mask. Starting from the corner, you're just gonna go down and sew all the way like that. So I started at this end of the mask and I went all the way down the bottom. So when I come to this other side, you're going to want to sew maybe about a quarter of the way. Then you're going to stop and you're going to lift the needle, lift this foot and leave a bit of a gap because that's what you're going to need. Sorry. That's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need this gap to stay open to flip this mask inside out. Then once you get to the end right here, you're gonna finish it off by sewing and then you're gonna do a back stitch. Just to keep that thread in place. Just a couple times. And then you can trim this right here, and that's it. And then this is what your mask is going to look like, all sewn. And then you have that little puka that you left. I trimmed the thread so that there's this opening. And then you're going to go ahead, open this hole, and then just flip it right side out. Now your mask is really starting to look like a mask, right? It's the inside. So we're gonna go ahead and, just like we did, but stitch the outside. So we're gonna stitch along the border of this whole mask just to seal up this puka, tuck the fabric in, and then just sew along the border all the way around the mask. And there's your mask with the top stitch all sealed up, looks good. So we're gonna flip it so that the lining is facing you, the lining of your mask. And then you're gonna fold the ends in. And this is gonna be so that you can run um, these straps for your mask through here. So this area right here, this fold over, I like to have it um, measuring, a and you're gonna do that on both ends of your mask. And that's it for the sewing part. So you have your mask right side out, and then the inside you have the two little um, slider pockets. That'll be where you loop your straps through. So now you're gonna wanna add straps to your mask. And what I've been using instead of elastic, because elastic is expensive and it's kind of hard to come by now with everyone making masks, um, I'm using my swim material. So this is a 30 inch piece um, that I cut, just a thin strap. And what you're gonna do is you're going to attach this safety pin to the end of the strap right here. And then you're gonna run it through these pockets on the side of your face mask. So I have my safety pin 
through the end of the fabric and then just gonna put it through here and run it all the way down till it comes out on this end. And then we're gonna run it through this end and then up and it'll come out here. And then you'll just tie your fabric together. And then there you have it. That is how you can make your own face mask at home. If you wanna see how to fit and wear your mask properly, you can check out my highlight on my profile page and then also head over to my blog. Um, I wrote up a post about how to do that as well. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys can make pretty masks. Tag me if you do and stay safe, stay healthy. Love you guys.